Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your girl Kendra D. Uh, you know, I had to take a little break from YT and all of its goofiness. Uh, kind of gets to me a little bit sometimes, plus I was under the weather for the past week or so. And, you know, just some other things going on that sort of uh, had my attention a little bit. However, I think I might have rested up as much as I need to. So this video, I'm going to try to keep it relatively short. Okay. Um, basically, this is what I want to quickly talk about. I want to quickly talk about ladies and the terminology of knowing your worth in terms of a relationship, what you expect out of relationships, uh, what you think you're putting into a relationship and what you think you should be getting out of a relationship. And I noticed that a lot of women will spend a lot of time in, you know, various relationships where things are not quite going the way that they think that they should, but they stick it out and they somehow think that this sticking it out should be valuable to the men that they are in relationship with. But I want to let the ladies know something, and this isn't new information. This isn't anything that I've never said before, but it bears repeating. Ladies, 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 we view the value of relationships differently than how men view these relationships. Okay. And this is where a lot of you guys problems are coming from because women see relationships in terms of time. If enough time has been invested, then we feel the natural progression should be that we reach a, a commitment of some sort, uh, a marriage of some sort. Usually uh, women want monogamy also uh, in this relationship. And if some years pass or some children are birthed, uh, we feel that we become entitled to the uh the wife label okay that he should automatically feel the need to marry us <clears throat> now that seems logical to the female mind and i'll get to why there is a difference however the issue comes about is because men do not see relationships in terms of time men see relationships in terms of role and our esteemed brother BGS Ibmore has gone over this actually on his own channel numerous times. Um, he even had like a little flow chart about it. It was, it was so cute. This had to be maybe late last year or something. It's been a while since he made a video about it. However, um, like I said, it bears repeating. Um, men see relationships in terms of role. And what I mean by that is that Upon meeting you and assessing you, men categorize you. And we categorize men too, but they act on their categor categorizations. And what I mean by that is a man will categorize you as either someone he should ignore, a booty call, just a, a, a friends with bennies, a girlfriend, or wife type, okay? And this is, he, he's doing this within just a few conversations with you, uh, maybe a few meetings with you, a few interactions with you. He has determined that in his life, you can only fulfill X role, okay? And as long as you're capable of fulfilling that role, he'll have you around. So if you're a good friends with Benny's, you can be that for years, okay, to a man. You can be that for years to him, okay, and he will happily uh, engage with you on those terms, okay. These relationships end when you, as the female, attempt to change the terms and conditions of the contract that was originally made. So if you were originally a friends with Benny's, that actually means that you were, you were okay with him actually having a girlfriend or a wife, okay? You understood that you were not actually his woman. And even though if you were smart, you didn't mention it to him, you had men, 
you see what I'm saying? Someone that was actually your man. So <clears throat> it will change and all of those good times and chilling out and hanging and sometimes you smash and sometimes, you know, all of that attention, the type of attention that you're getting from him will actually change to something negative and he'll start pulling back from you if you attempt to change change the terms and conditions. Like if you want to get serious with him, like you say, you start coming to him with these girlfriend vibes, right? Like I want to really be with you. I want to really have a relationship with you that is beyond just friends with Benny's, like we get along so well. And you may have what seems to be logical reasons why a full-blown relationship would actually work. And to be quite honest with you, a full-blown relationship probably would work because if you're friends with Benny's, then you're actually friends and you actually get along when there isn't sex happening. Um, however, uh, he'll still likely pull back from this, from you, uh, because you are attempting to change the dynamic of the relationship. Because if if it changes from friends, friends with Benny's to a full on, you know, girlfriend, you're his woman, blah, blah, blah. That changes how he has to behave with you. And that changes how you behave with him, more importantly. And so if he doesn't want to do that, uh, he's going to pull away. Now, I'm not saying that there, that has never transitioned from friends with Benny's to actual relationship. I'm sure that that has happened plenty of times, whether the relationship worked or not. Uh, but uh, usually a man will sort of start shying away from you because you're changing the dynamic, okay, of the relationship. Okay. And you're changing that dynamic based upon time. Okay. I've been your friend and you smash and we've been doing this for three years. And I really, really, I've gained some feelings for you. I I love you. Uh, and I feel as though that should qualify me for being legitimately in your life. Okay. But however, the problem lies in the fact that you have been categorized And as long as you fulfill that role, a man will have you in that role. This is why sometimes a woman will spend uh, X amount of years as a girlfriend or maybe even a fiance to a man and he never marries her. Um, That's because she's a good girlfriend, a good fiance. But there's something about it uh, and about her or about their dynamic between each other that he feels like a marriage actually probably wouldn't work. Uh, that he doesn't want to make that level of commitment because for him, that's a deeper level of commitment. And considering that women uh, file for divorces or initiate divorces uh, more so than men, men actually, when they get married, they actually want to stay married typically. So men have categorized. Now, the reason why there's this difference is because for women, time matters on a, both a conscious level and a subconscious level. And subconsciously, our biological clocks are ticking, okay? We have a limited time of, of prime fertility, okay? And you've heard a lot of women say, don't waste your youth on a man that's not going to dedicate, which is actually good advice, okay? Um, because you don't want to waste your, your good youth and your good womb years on a man that doesn't want to give you what you need to actually fulfill that. So, um, for us, time is of the essence because we understand, even though women on YouTube like to argue against SMV, DMV, whatever, sexual market value or dating market value, intrinsically, we understand that we are at our best when we're youngest. Okay, and when we're the most fertile and when we are the most desirable. And so that those youthful years uh, should actually not be wasted. And a lot of women waste it going from man to man. They waste it even when they try to be, you know, so-called good girls and not hoeing around. And they have like one particular man that they want to deal with. But that man doesn't quite seem to be, you know, uh, ready to get into a marriage or get into a really serious long term relationship with her. 
um, or what have you. He, he, he kind of orbits her. There's something that he really likes about her, but there's also something that is keeping him uh, from making those extra steps. So um, for us, we're operating even on a subconscious level uh, and we don't like that time goes by. This is what makes women so bitter. When I was with you for 12 years and we had two kids and you left me and then you went to marry a, a woman you've only known for a, a, two, a year or two. And she doesn't, she hasn't birthed your children and he has, she hasn't done anything for you. Remember when I held you down and remember when, you know, you were going through these rough times and I stood by you and you know, you did. And therein lies the problem. You dedicated too much to a man that could simply walk away. You could simply walk away. If he's not in any long-term relationship or marriage with you, there's been no verbal commitments made uh, to you then you're doing too much. Having children, uh, seeing him through the worst parts of his life and all of that, that will hold a value to him, but it won't hold the kind of value you think it should hold, okay? And so for men, men don't look at relationships in a, in a, in a time factor, in a linear fashion, because for him, fertility is not as big of an issue as it is for you. He's fertile for longer. And especially if he stays healthy, um, because he's not carrying children, uh, his, his reproductive time span is much longer than a woman's. Okay. And also if he's doing everything the way that he's supposed to and living his life, you know, in a positive, in a good way, his dating or sexual market value actually goes on the rise as he gets older. So he is, has plenty of time to actually find the different women and categorize them differently based on his needs at a particular time in his life. So you may have fulfilled a need when he was in his 20s, but you don't fulfill that same need when you're in your 30s and when he's in his 30s because what he needed from you when he was in his 20s, he no longer needs from anybody. So he might actually pull away from you because you no longer serve this need that he has. He has other needs now and he's grown and maybe you haven't grown with him. And so if he sees that you have not grown with him or you don't have the potential to grow with him, he may actually start, you know, separating himself from you. You'll notice a distance. You maybe you start arguing all the time and, you know, there's contention where they didn't used to be things of that nature. So he'll start pulling away and all of these things. So this is kind of getting a little bit lengthy, lengthier than I wanted it to be. Um, however, this may be worthy of a live discussion uh, because I wanna know from women, why do you waste time? If, if you know your so-called, your quote unquote worth, then why do you waste your youthful, most prime years on men who do not want to dedicate. Like, I want women to help me break that down. Um, because I got a pretty good idea what most men will say. Uh, but this is kind of geared towards the ladies because you're the one that's losing out. Because, like I said, he's got plenty of time to find. Uh, a woman that better suits his need only, only because his dating market value actually rises and yours lowers. Okay. So this is why time is a crunch for you, but it's not a crunch for him. And he doesn't actually see it that way. Anyway, you see what I'm saying? It, 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 he'll meet a woman that is his wife and he deems her as his wife. And one more thing before I go away, when a man doesn't marry you, and he doesn't lock you down. He doesn't, he doesn't approach you in a way where it's like, okay, you know what? I really need you in my life. Then he's, that means he's not, he's not worried about you leaving. And number two, you don't hold enough value for him that he becomes fearful that another man might actually benefit from that value. So he wants to benefit from that value. And so when he wants to benefit from that value in him alone, he will lock you down in a marriage. Okay. If he doesn't see that level of value 
And he, that means that if you leave today, he may feel some type of way because, you know, if, if you're there long enough, I mean, he has feelings. But he's not going to cry and die forever. And he's not going to be constantly worried about what some other man is doing with you. Because you, he knows your value or your worth. It may be okay, but it's not enough to inspire a man to, to lock you down. You see what I'm saying? If that made sense. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. And I will probably talk to you guys later on a live on a live show and I am signing out. Oh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you guys can get notifications because I'm noticing that my live viewership is kind of dropping and that's partly on me because of the lack of consistency. So I know that. But if you want to go ahead and also contribute to the channel, you can go ahead and click my Patreon link. I'm going to put these links in the description box, if I don't forget. Um, and you can contribute through either my Cash App, my PayPal, or you can simply become a Patreon. I'm going to start putting content on my Patreon. And there are also levels to it. So go ahead, check it out. See which level you want to contribute to and be a part of. And I will be most appreciative. So thank you so much. And you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm out.